Hey everyone, it's Christina from Christina of Lights. Thank you for, vis for visiting with me here. When you watch my videos, you're always in a protective bubble of love and light, watched over by all my guides and angels. I'm in much gratitude to them for this. This is my Thursday weekend energy message. I'm using a new deck. It, it comes in a sleeve. Isn't that pretty cool? It's a, a, a beautiful deck comes in this case, and the decks, um, it splits in half, and half goes here, half goes there, comes with this amazing book, so soft, so beautiful, I have, um, one of the other ones too. It's the same deck. Um, it's just daylight on it instead. Saint Soleil Lucid Dreams Tarot. Actually, let me pull that up so you can see it. It's beautiful. So. For the immediate energy, we have the Ten of um, Wands. I'm feeling freedom from your burden, freeing yourself from your burdens. Bringing them out to the woods so they can, uh, bringing them back to where they need to go. The overall energy is the Queen of Swords. Of course it is, because the Queen and King of Swords have been with us constantly lately. Just um, coming into your own, you know, there's an owl on here, very wise and knowing, discerned in where you're going. Things are clear and cut and confident. what the overall main reading is. It's the Fool. The Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. So you're taking a leap. And Throwing all your eggs in the basket of new beginnings. You're trusting that the universe has a plan for you and leaving it up to them to decide. Five of Pentacles, I'm seeing this as um, another hmm. five change. That even when there didn't seem to be a glimmer of hope, you still saw it. Rebuilding and getting out of this too. Replenishing. It's the middle of winter here in this picture. I'm seeing like more pentacles coming your way. This is, I'm seeing this is just the beginning. You're rebuilding in many ways. You're rebuilding financially health, your energy, getting change of perspective, yeah. seeing things from a different point of view.
creativity is abundant with you now at this time. In touch with your feelings, um, open to your spirituality. You've spent a lot of time garnering your emotional strength. And you've filled your cup to the point where it's overflowing. So you know how to self-care for yourself. Taking good care. Learn to take really good care of yourself. You've put yourself first. And there's been enough times where things happened in your life to grow this experience, to know this. What's underneath? The High Priestess. It's all the queens. You're finally in tune to your intuition. You're trusting in your inner knowing. And you go within. When you need to, um figure things out, you, s you make sure you spend that time by yourself meditating to figure out um, the ways of your life. And you've completed the balance of masculine and feminine. And you've become ready to birth new now in your life since you've um, done so much work. And it's time to celebrate by that. Coming together. Really, um, what's what's happening now is is you're calling in your support system instead of instead of fighting. And say fighting and uh, instead of struggling moving forward you're now moving full uh, forward and the flow is there so allowing yourself um, a moment to thank yourself be in gratitude and be proud of yourself for where you've come from and the things you've gone through and it's time to take charge um, you've got plans and you know what you want to do. This is an independent energy. Um, I, I feel like it's a, like, like a clean slate has begun. Like you've left things behind and ready to move forward. Now in your new energy, having had time to process things. Because there's been a ton of change, but you've grown independence out of all of that. You're not, I'm feeling like you're not into wasting time. You've got stuff to do and you're ready to do it. Judgment. I'm feeling um, an inner calling with this. Following your soul's path. Because you've shed, you know, many skins. You've accomplished a lot. You've integrated a lot. You're really feeling fulfilled. At where you've been and where you're headed now. 
really um, strengthened yourself through this process. You've really grown. You've adapted. You're really emotionally supporting yourself and um, allowing your feelings to flow because it was necessary now. You're not feeling like hidden. You want to expand and keep releasing things so you're not burdened that where you're getting rid of the burdens in your life that you know that no longer serve you because you've learned how important it is in taking care of yourself and supporting yourself and you reaping the rewards from that and the effort for that and really embracing it at this time there there is major transitions that have occurred but we're moving into what is now going to be in our lives and it's it's almost there it's you know it's right on our doorsteps and There's, this is the temperance card. There's a, a piece in knowing that too, that you've come this far and you've gotten to this point. Um, it's really uh, narrowed the uh, pathway that you're heading towards now and being in balance. Being in balance is bringing in mul multiple choices, you know, and really um, knowing what's best for yourself at this point. There's a, um, yeah, you've done a, a lot of hard work, nine of ones. And that's bringing in the nine of pentacles. And a real need for financial independence and self-sufficiency is is kicking into gear now. Not not wanting to rely on other people for yeah being strategic. Seven of Swords really trying to pinpoint what those items are yeah in in getting this is come to a point where you're getting ready to move on swift energy with that as well with the eight of wands mm. Death. Big changes are coming. Big, big changes after this big transformation and letting go, releasing, and starting anew. Big changes are about to come in. Hangman, yeah. 
uh, seeing things from a new perspective. Here, um, that's twice in two of the cards. I've gotten that. Justice, yes, absolutely. Your truth. and truth and receiving you know the, we're not owed anything but this path you've been on you've earned that you you're being gifted in a lot of ways because of where where you have been Mm-hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Your destiny, a turning point is coming. I'm not sharing it. With rapid speed, it is right there. Yep. Eight of Cups walking away again. <laughs> Some of you have a all of this this evolution you've gone through is bringing in a partner. You're being guided guided in your higher truth and utilizing where your spiritual journeys brought you to to the, to this point and what's on your doorstep it's a choice you're gonna walk through That portal. When you do, you're going to have to make a decision on something. It's a passionate one. It's a very passionate decision. somebody else coming in in your road ahead you being the queen of swords the other person being the king of swords gotten this far and you're moving towards another big portal and shift and as you get closer to that it's going to swiftly draw in a new person into your life. This is very swift energy. And this is <clears throat> moving in this weekend, this energy. Definitely moving in this weekend. And within five weeks, Within five weeks, this will start bearing fruit. You'll start seeing some movement with this from this other person, whoever this is. 
to your life. Um, it could be a love, which is what I'm getting, but this also, for some people, this could be a, um, some sort of a partnership. It could be bringing together um, business um, ventures, um, business deals. Um, it'll be after Mer Mercury retrograde, so it'll be signing contracts of some sort. Perhaps you bought a house, or you're starting a business, um, you're purchasing a car. I could go on. <laughs> You'll know what's best, um, where it fits for you, but in any case, that's the weekend reading. Uh, hope everyone has a great night. I'll be back tomorrow for um, my random reading. I'm very busy tomorrow, so it's probably going to be a very late reading, like late night reading again, like um, this has been. Um, I have to work all day tomorrow, and then I get home, bring my pups out, and then I'm going to run to my um, personal training session, and um, then I'm going to go to the store, so <laughs> it's going to be a um, long day for me tomorrow, so I will fit my message in for you for um, the random reading somewhere in there. In any case, thank you so much. You guys have a great evening. Thank you for joining me. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Peace and love, everyone. Have a great night. Bye.